Less than seven years after the crown jewel of downtown Minneapolis opened its doors, U.S. Bank Stadium is officially paid off. The billion dollar project is paid for 20 years earlier than expected. Danny Spiewak explains how that happened and why taxpayers are still on the hook for several years. And thank you all so much. So. Patrick, Patrick, but we love you. <laughs> Former Minneapolis Mayor R.T. Ryback got a warm reception from Vikings fans in 2012 after the city and state did their part to make U.S. Bank Stadium a reality. I think the stadium's uh, working out pretty well. Since opening in 2016, the facility has hosted not only the Vikings, but also a Super Bowl, a men's Final Four, and now Taylor Swift. Whether people agree with the stadium being built or not, I think it was better to have two nights of Taylor Swift selling it out and now have millions coming back to the city than to have had a vacant metrodome. On Monday, the state officially paid off its share of bond debt, $377 million, 20 years early. That's partly because the main revenue source for the stadium, electronic pull tabs, made money faster than anticipated. By paying off debt, the state estimates taxpayers will save $226 million in interest payments, while the city will save $350 million through 2046. It's good we're paying off the debt. It's good that uh, for a number of reasons why we still have the Vikings in town. Uh, but, you know, I would like the public to be asking several questions. University of Minnesota economist Arthur Rolnick is a longtime critic of public Boy. funding for sports stadiums. In the case of Billion Dollar U.S. Bank Stadium, the public contributed nearly half the cost. If I could, I would outlaw this kind of blackmail then we wouldn't be having these discussions. We'd be using public money in the public sector. Before U.S. Bank, you might recall concerns about the Vikings relocating, either out of state or elsewhere in the metro like Arden Hills. I think a lot about what would have happened if the Vikings were in Arden Hills. There was a deflated and vacant Metrodome. Yeah. <laughs> the Vikings said in a statement today that the state paying off the debt is great news and a significant accomplishment, but the stadium will still require tens of millions of dollars in operating costs moving forward, as well as a new security fence that the legislature approved money for this year.